Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a video on how much energy is used with the heated seats on. And also, do electric cars idle? Um, obviously they do not idle, but um, they do use energy. And I did a series of tests this afternoon and I found some interesting results of how much energy consumption is actually used. Um, and I'm going to share it with you now. So I ended up doing three tests. The first test is with the heated wheel on the front seats on low and then the test number two is the same but with the front and the rear seats on though on high and the third test was with nothing on at all just idling and uh, the, the garage temperature was 53 degrees there was nothing else going on this is totally in a controlled environment and each test was one hour long and this was using leaf spy so I left the car on for about an hour some of the, the initial readings were kind of spastic. It was like actually going up the percentage, even though I was idling it or just leaving it on for a half hour. So I decided to just wait about an hour and then it stabilized. So this is where I started at. It was 39 miles and 61.1%. So as you can see, it dropped down to 37. And on Leaf Spy, it was showing 59.1%. So it dropped 2%, and that's with uh, that's over an hour, and that's with the heated wheel and the front seats on low. Okay, so for, for this next one, things got a little weird. Um, this, this was with the heated wheel on, the front and the rear seats on, but they were on high. So I expected it to go down more, as anybody would. However, as you can see, it dropped another two miles again and it was 57.1 which is exactly the same as before it dropped another two percent so I thought that was kind of weird um, I actually tried out the back seats for the first time I never actually sat back there very much I just wanted to see how how the heat was going and it didn't seem you know I had the seats on high but I it didn't seem like they were very warm so I'm not sure if they don't work as well, or maybe there's there's timers that are cutting out or something, or maybe there's sensors that sense that there's nobody back there won't turn on. Or I, I don't know. It's just very, very weird, though, that it, it ended up being exactly the same. Because I know that when I turn the front seats on high, I feel the difference between low and high. So it can't possibly be the exact same percentage. I mean, it had to use more power, but apparently not. And the weirdness continues. So for this last test, I did nothing on at all. So I turned all the heated stuff off, and there was no no headlights on, no radio on, no nothing. Just basically turning the car on, and if, if, if you were just in park, basically ready to go into drive, but otherwise basically just you know fully, fully ready to go, basically standby mode. And so as you can see, it dropped down to 34. And then the, the battery percentage would drop down to 55.2. And that's only one-tenth of a percent less than what it was doing with all the heated stuff on. So it's essentially still almost using 2% just idling or in standby mode, which is, to me, was baffling. I mean, I was completely shocked. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not certain if the Leaf Spy is putting out the right numbers, because that's solely what this is based on. But... Um, that if they're going to point point at somebody or point at a program as, as a possible problem, I don't know. But so there it is. I kind of suspected this after being caught in, in rush hour traffic a couple of times, where I was just basically idling, waiting for lights to change and waiting for traffic to move. I noticed that I was dropping percentage points pretty quickly, and I couldn't figure out why. So that's what prompted this whole test. But um, I'm glad I did it because now I know for sure 2% in about an hour is what I can expect. So I hope you found this to be useful information. If you like, please go ahead and like the video and um, subscribe if you want. And there's definitely more to come. Thanks.